Hi everyone and welcome back to Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. Okay, today's story is titled I caught my wife on our 10th year anniversary. I work construction. With the rain, we work crazy hours trying to make it up for the time we missed. So, I work 12 hours on the days that's nice, sometimes a little longer. So, Thursday the work started. By mid-morning, it started to rain hard. I go home and then I go to the gym. I cut the workout short and head to see my wife Megan to give her flowers and make plans for dinner because it was our 10th anniversary. I went to her building about 12:30. I told the receptionist that I got here later than I wanted and if she could put the flowers on Megan's desk. She said, "I don't think they went to lunch yet. Why don't you drop them yourself?" The place was deserted. I always walk in unless the receptionist tells me that she's in a meeting. I see some guy standing behind Megan, nuzzling her neck, and she is reaching back over his head. She is giggling, saying, "We got to get this done." I am gut punched. I slammed the flowers on the floor, said "Happy anniversary," and walked out. I didn't hear what she said. I just walked out of the office and out of the building, and then my phone started ringing. I bawled my eyes off all the way home. went into the garage pulled my camping gear and took off to a state park i had no idea what to do i hiked a trail we had been on in the past about 3 hours hike i just sat there thinking my phone was blowing up from megan so i turned it off i left the park to get reception and turned on the phone and to see my good friend called i called him back he said megan called to check on me Make sure that I didn't do anything stupid. We talked a bit, told him I got to think this through and would catch up on Friday. So, while I was thinking about this, I go over our marriage from the beginning to see what I have missed. We come from completely opposite backgrounds. My grandfather raised me with my mom. He taught me about life. He told me marriage would be the hardest job I ever had. You have to work on it every day. We did not have much her mom and grandpa having many discussions about bills they worked hard and my brother and i did not miss out on anything that we knew of megan was born into money not overly rich but was very comfortable went to a great college always great clothes new car etc and she is beautiful we hit it off and started dating i was dumbfounded how such a woman would ever be with me We dated quite a while before she told me about her parents and lifestyle. Our friends call us the model couple because they thought we were so good looking we had to be models. Families were not as kind, afraid of the differences economically that would come into play. Her dad and I started to get along, but her mom took some convincing. I look back and do not see any red flags. Her first two jobs she quit because all the men tried to get in her pants. She was invited to conferences where other newbies were not. At dinner at a conference, a partner tried to get her drunk, then tried to force himself into her room that night. She quit. The next job, same thing, quit again. This third job has women as some of the partners and none of that BS were there. She seems very happy. We seemed very happy. So now Friday I'm home I called and asked where she was back at work I said the marriage is taking second place to her job she responded since I would not talk what was she to do fair enough she will be home in an hour so I wait I want to save our marriage if I'm lacking in providing then I want to fix it I want to ask her why of course but I cannot accept I don't know answer. I know I will get all emotional and forget everything. So the next few days we will be going over and over on this. We had a marathon talking session on Friday into late night. I started by asking that she would be honest in all answers and be complete. She agreed. So I started with why? Answer I don't know. Kind of what was expected. We went round and round on this. Finally, 
I asked how many times it was physical, started to dodge, but when I let out a sigh and shook my head, she said, six or seven times. I kept my cool. How long? Last three weeks. Back to why? No answer. Do you still love me? Yes. Do you still find me attractive? Yes. So why? Still can't answer. Am I not giving you something that you are looking for? Here she hesitated but quickly recovered. I knew I was on to something. Could not crack the nut though. She started crying saying she is trying to answer my questions. I said, okay, enough for tonight. Then she tried to leave to her parents. I told her that this is our house. I'm not asking you to leave. I said, we are not divorced or separated. That may come, but for now, we need to be together until we sort it out. We actually slept in the same bed. Next morning, we started again. She described how she caught the feeling when they made out at the hotel he was staying. She left. Next morning, after I left to work, she hightailed it over to the hotel to put an end to it, but then she slept with him. It continued until I discovered them. She also was weighing on whether to leave, then says this is moving way too fast, she needs to separate from this guy. She was attracted to him because the project they are on is his idea. She feels she is getting passed by and needs to up her game. The stimulation from this led to the attraction. Now the floodgates are open and we have a great dialogue. Mid-afternoon, she wants a break. She leaves to her parents. Later, I hear a knock on the door. There stands Megan's mom. She says she is not here to sway me in any way. She would accept any decision I make. But she wants to tell me her story. She was married once before Megan's dad. I knew that. The man she married was the love of her life. Didn't have much. She met now husband. They caught some feelings. Before they cheated, she told the first husband that they were done, divorced him and then married the new guy. Couple of years later, she knew she made a mistake but the old husband has already moved on. She gets pregnant with Megan, goes into depression and was actually institutionalized. Two years later, pregnant with brother, repeat cycle, couple of years later, sister is born, repeat. No more kids, she is fixed. Everyone thought it was postpartum depression. I guess it was, but it mirrored her ex also expanding his family. To this day, she knows where he lives, his kids names, etc. She has never gotten over leaving the love of her life. She sees how I am with Megan. She sees she is my love. She saw it when she quit her first job, how I took care of her. And then she got up and left, saying nothing else. Couple of things to clean up about Megan's first two jobs. When she got off that plane and collapsed into my arms, we weren't married yet. Harassment is real. Report it to who? The guy owned the company. She did right and quit. The second job was more of the same. She left as soon as she felt uncomfortable. Well guys, now it's time we listen to his wife's side of the story, posted before she got caught. I have been married to, let's call him Bob, for almost 10 years. We met after I finished college. He was incredibly good looking, generous, outdoorsy, a man's man. He has had me experience many things that did not exist in my life. Zip lining, white water rafting, camping and the list goes on. We fell in love and we married. At this time, I was starting my career. White collar, Bob is blue collar. We made it work. I struggled with my first job, so Bob convinced me to find another job. Eventually, landing at a great job where I have worked hard and move up to the responsibilities and the respect from my peers. Fast forward 9 years, I am tasked with a huge project for an important client. I am taking the idea, a colleague who works in another office had used his location and applying it nationwide. We have been working for almost 4 months through video chat, email and texts. It was decided 
To wrap this up, we needed to work together. My office has more space to accommodate him and the workspace we need. It was decided that he would travel and I was glad because of the past bad experiences that I have traveling for former companies. So Jim flies in mid-mornings on Monday and leaves early afternoon Friday. He had a hotel room down the street from the office. I had met him in passing at the conferences in the past but did not really know him before this project. There was electricity in the air when we met for the project which did not show itself during other messaging. As we started working, I would get distracted at times and caught him looking at me if I had my attention elsewhere. We took our meals together, stayed late at work. As the third week came, we had become a little touchy-feely. Finally, as we were leaving late one night, he grabbed my shoulders and kissed me. I kissed him back. We went to his hotel and had an old-fashioned make-out session. Nothing more than that. I broke it off as guilt came over me and went home. Bob was there. He had just got home himself. He works construction and works long hours when the weather is good. Many days he can't work because of the rain and they make up for lost time when they can. We had a light meal and Bob went to bed and I stayed up trying to figure out what I have done. Next morning, I went directly to Jim's hotel to discuss what happened and we ended up sleeping together. Got to work a little later than normal. Jim came in half an hour later. We went to lunch and talked about what was happening. He confessed he was crazy about me and we ended up meeting every night. Now we are going to the final week. Jim wants a transfer to my office to continue the relationship as the project is all but done. I think I need a separation from Jim as this is going so fast. I have never cheated before, although given many opportunities in my other jobs. If he came here and we continued, my reputation and career may be ruined. My partners have been dangling other responsibilities and money over my head to stay. I think they feel I will bolt to another company. I love Bob too. He's a great guy. I have no complaints about him. We have a great life. I did not get into any educational or cultural differences with Bob. Jim meets me at the intellectual level, challenges me. Is this enough to end an almost 10 years of marriage? Please, I know most will say that I'm a piece of SH, but I need your constructive opinions. Well guys, that's the end of the story. So now you heard both sides of the story. Please let us know what you think in the comment section. There aren't any updates yet, but we will update you as soon as we see one. So, hit the like button, subscribe and keep watching. Take care.